So here's how you can think about the difference between an element and an atom. So we'll get to the definition in a minute, but right now let's think about how we use the terms. We say the periodic table of the elements, not the atoms. And say we had a block of gold like this right here. We would say the element gold is shiny, it's malleable, we can bend it, it's conductive. We wouldn't say an atom of gold is shiny or malleable, it's only one atom. If we're talking about an atom, we're usually just talking about the basic chemical unit of an element, like this. We have our nucleus with the protons and neutrons and it's surrounded by electrons. So for elements and atoms, usually when we're talking about atoms, one of that basic chemical unit of the element. But the element, that's a bunch of atoms together. For the definition, we say the element's a pure substance consisting only of one type of atom. So here, it would be gold atoms. And all of them are the same, they're gold. Let's think about water for a minute. So when a chemist talks about water, H2O, if you said what elements are in water, they'd say, well, hydrogen and oxygen. They talk about the type of atom that makes up this substance. But if you ask them which atoms were in water, they'd say, well, there's two hydrogen atoms for every one oxygen atom, H2O. So again, we're talking about these individual basic chemical units, where with the element, we're talking more about the identity. And this lets us talk about the bulk properties, like conductivity, density. Whereas with an atom, we can't really talk about those things. They're too small and they don't exhibit those properties when it's just one atom. So that's the difference between an element and an atom. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.